Hi, I'm Daniel Crook and I'm here with another card trick tutorial. Let's get started. This is what it looks like. You found out the cards was display, or selection. The card is selected. Everyone's memorizing that card. When they've got it, you say, can you return it please? They return their card. He says, everyone memorize that card? They go, yes. You go to a borrowed handkerchief or napkin and you see it hasn't got any holes in it, watch. Okay, I'm going to put the cards on top, watch. They completely cover the deck with the handkerchief. Remember, this can be a borrowed handkerchief, borrowed deck, borrowed everything, no setup. You give it a little shake and you remind them. You say this is a completely shuffled deck. Okay, your card, I have no idea what it is, was completely lost. One card falls through the silk handkerchief and hopefully you'll find that that was their card. Okay, let's learn that. That's the basic. Now remember, that's just the basic trick that was without much performance into it because I want you to add your own performance. I don't want you to steal or lines from someone else. I just want you to create your own story behind it. Okay, so you need a little bit of skill to be able to do this. Not very much. Um, and this trick doesn't require any preparation. You can borrow everything. Okay? So you um, get them to select a card. You can fan them out like this or you can say stop or you can um, do all these fans which look really pretty. Um, and so you say just pick a random card. So we've got this one. The Nine of Diamonds. Okay, so they're looking at the Nine of Diamonds, you give the deck a quick chuckle. And then uh, now is where you want to control the cards at the top of the deck. If you know a better, a better way of controlling the card already, great, use that. I'm going to briefly, very briefly, go over how to do the false overhand shuffle. Okay, this is what it looks like. So you're going to shuffle about half the deck. Okay. You're going to ask them to return their card on top. Like that. So their card's here. Then you're going to jog a card inward towards yourself. Like that. Just one card. Alright, you see? Just jog towards yourself. Then you go shuffle all on top. Messily. Like that. You don't want to do this neat, otherwise this jog card's going to be very obvious. So you can see here, this, this is our jog card. And behind this card is, there, is, is the top of the pack. That's, that's the top of the pack there. So you're going to grab everything behind slap it on top. I hope you saw that well on camera. I'm going to do it again. So you got, they're looking at their card. You shuffle about half the pack, say, can you return your card, please? They return their card on top of there. Jog a card towards yourself. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Messy. Okay. This is our jog card right here. You grab everything behind and put it on top. Okay, that's control the cards of the day. I'm sorry that was quite so that was quite brief. Um, I might go over that again in another video. Okay, so we've got their card on top. But they think it's mucked around in the middle somewhere. By the way, while you're doing this, talk to the audience. Distract misdirection. This is where your misdirection comes in place. Because if people are staring at the deck, then some of them might figure out what you just did. It's a, quite a covered move and it's um, quite a subtle move, I think. But uh, Nevertheless, some people will figure that out if they're not, you know, if you're, unless you're giving them eye contact and saying, have you memorized your card? Um, do you need to write it down? Has everyone seen it? So it's like, it'll take like three seconds tops. Um, just think of a few random things to say to distract them. Um, tell a joke or something. Okay, so you've got that card on top. You borrow a handkerchief. Now this is about 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. Okay, that's about the smallest size you want it. Okay, bigger preferably. Um, otherwise it's going to get a little bit tricky. Okay, you can try with smaller, but it'll be, it'll be, you'll see what I mean, it gets a little bit tricky. Um, and, yeah, you can completely borrow, you can use a tea towel or a paper napkin. You put your hand underneath the uh, deck with, little, with your cards in your left hand. You want a corner facing you, there and there, like a compass, okay? So you've got one corner facing you. Now, I've seen, I don't know if you can see this, but I've put the, the cards just forward from centre, okay? Just forward, that's because when you come with your right hand, uh, the napkin will come back a little bit and they'll put it into center. So you're going to come with your right hand underneath and take all the cards but one. You're going to leave the top card behind. Okay? The top card is now on my left hand. 
I'm putting the rest of the 51 cards on top. Okay? So I've got their card, the Nine of Diamonds here, and all their cards on top, and it's all on my left hand. Okay? I'll show you that again. So you've got their card on top. You want the deck underneath the handkerchief as long, oh no, as short as possible, sorry, as short as possible, because it's very suspicious here. When it's underneath the handkerchief, people are very aware of that. It's like you turning around in the middle of a performance to do something. It's very sneaky, and no one really likes it. So have it under there briefly. Say, oh, actually, no, you'll be able to see it better on top. Okay? Misdirect. Do something. Uh, hey, look at that. You know, just do, keep keep away from this and keep it under, underneath the de um, underneath the handkerchief for a short amount of time, time as possible. Okay? So you're going to take um, the corner facing you, and you're going to cover it cover the deck. Uh, now the angles are pretty good on this, okay? There's nothing really sneaky going on here. The only angle you need to worry about is this one here, okay? If someone is here, like right next to you, which is unlikely, uh, then yeah, they'll probably see that. But apart from that, you don't really need to worry. Unless you've got children and you're doing it down here, you don't want to do the magic trick up here because they're going to see that. So come down to them. Come down to your lowest spectator. That's a good tip, okay? So, got the cards here cover the deck. Take everything on your right hand side um, and put it underneath. Take all the napkin on your left hand side and put it underneath. Okay? With your right hand, grab all the excess and that's it. You're done. Okay, and come up here. This is a perfect display moment. This is the magic right here. Okay, uh, now the angles, you might want to worry about that a little bit there. If someone's standing behind you, they're going to see that. That's going to, that's going to ruin your illusion a tad bit. Um, so make sure people can't see that. Apart from that, you set up the card, their set of the cards is a little pouch, okay, with a hole in the bottom. The rest of the cards are in a pouch with no hole in the bottom. It's completely set up, you don't, there's nothing you need to do. But, according to the spectators, you haven't done anything, okay? You shouldn't have, there's no preparation. This is where the magic should really be happening. So you should be more focused on this, this area, okay? So you're going to give a little shake. Now, you, can I stress, you want this card to come out slowly. Okay, you don't want it to just fall out. That doesn't, that completely destroys the illusion. With a silk handkerchief, you have to be really careful because it's very slippy and it will come out, that came out way too fast. It will come out fast, okay? Uh, so a tea towel, it will come out a lot slower, which is a bit better, okay? Or a paper napkin, whatever you're using. Make it come out slowly. If you can catch it, that's good. If it just falls on the floor, that's equally as fine, okay? It doesn't really matter. Uh, and this is your chance just to shut up, okay? You don't want, this is a very magical moment. Okay? If the card falls face down, get someone else to turn it over. Okay? That's the magic in their hands. Okay? You haven't done anything. That's why there's no possible way you could have somehow switched the card. Okay? Uh, and you might want to remind them that it was a shuffled pack and they completely lost the card in the deck and it was a borrowed handkerchief. But don't... You don't want to ruin the, ma the magic point there. So when... Once the magic has happened, you need to be quiet basically. You just need to let everyone have their reaction, okay? And when, after maybe, maybe like 30 seconds or something, everyone's taking that in, people are screaming or people are just dead, dead silent or whatever they're going to do, that's when you can remind them that was your card, right? It was completely lost in the deck and it was in a borrowed handkerchief, you know, that's, that's when you can remind them. But you don't, you don't want to talk too much. The magic speaks for itself, okay? Right, that was the basic um, look on the... Um, card through silk. If there's anything you understand, you didn't understand and I uh, breeze, breeze through it too quickly, um, comment, please comment and I'll, I'll try and um, help you out or I might make up another video or, so, or whatever. Um, and about the overhand false shuffle, I'm sorry if I went through that too quickly. That's, um, that I could do a whole other, another video just on that if people wanted me to. Uh, if you, if um, you can't wait until then, there's probably about a million videos on YouTube. It's called the False Overhand Shuffle, or fo uh, Control Shuffle, False Shuffle, something. Type in one of those, you'll, you'll find it. Um, Alright, that was the Car Through Silk, I hope you enjoyed it, um, and I'll be back with more videos soon. Thank you very much.